Hey, good morning to my uh, YouTube subscribers. It's good to see you. I know I haven't um, left the video in a while, but when you're ready. there really hasn't been much to record. But there is some updates. Uh, you'll never guess where I am. Once again, I'm in a nasty, dark, dirty coal field watching a uh, boat unload. Uh, I'd say, I think it's 16,000 tons of coal. Uh, today's a really busy week with boats. We had like three already. We got this one and then a couple more throughout this week. So, plenty of OT coming. Um, anyways, while I'm sitting here, I figured I'd drop a video. Uh, I just answered a question in one of my comments. Uh, I had a had a gentleman ask me what, what kind of vehicle I use and if I could do a video on it. Um, well, there's really no reason to make a video of it. <laughs> I'm forced to use my own personal vehicle, which is a uh, 2006 uh, Dodge Ram 1500. Nothing special about it. It doesn't even have a Hemi. It's got a 47 Magnum. And, uh, man, the interior is shot because of working near a coal field. You know, you leave the windows open to air it out or whatever in the summer. And the interior gets, gets shot. Your face gets all black just coal dust gets everywhere man so it's, it's, it's relatively bad um bad we used to have company vehicles provided for us back when u.s steel was our client but u.s steel uh shut down its plants in april of what was it 2020 it's been two years already uh and because of that we switched clients same job site just different clients. Um, the client we work for now rents property from U.S. Steel, and they operate on, on off that island. Or, uh, oops, I can't. I'm not supposed to say island. <laughs> I said it again. But they operate off of their property. So long story short, I'm still working on the job site. I've been here seven years. Uh, just a different client, and also a brand new, different security company. Uh, for those of you who don't know. Allied Universal bought out G4S security, so G4S is no longer they're they're gone. Allied Allied Universal swallowed them up. So man, yeah, between losing contracts and company takeout or buyouts and whatnot, this is my fourth uniform, fourth security company at this site in the past seven years. So figured I'd hop on that in case y'all didn't hear. Once again, uh, Allied, Allied Universal bought out G4S. So now Allied, Allied Universal is the largest security company in the world. Okay, and it's just, how's that work out? Well, well first of all, they bought a out. <laughs> but how's it work out for us? We're getting grandfathered into the system. So a lot of our, uh, our pay stays the same, our seniority stays the same, and you know, all of that our vacation pay, everything we've acquired, it just grandfathers into the system instead of starting over as a new employee, which is kind of cool. But, uh, man, I'm telling you what, I'm exhausted. Uh, these boats are really kicking our ass. Uh, back when G4S was our client, we had, like I said, we could use their, their vehicles, their gas. Now we got to use our own vehicles, our own gas. It puts wear and tear on our vehicles. It's bad. My poor truck. Oh, man. Uh, I, it's, it's, it probably would have lasted twice as long if I didn't have to use it in the coal field or on boat duties. But, hey, what do you want? You know, it's part of, it's what I got to do to make a living. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad, I'm glad I brought that up. Uh, as far as the filing for disability goes, I still probably could, but I found a way to at least be able to work the gate and you know, a lot of the major hurdles I had and getting actually getting to work and and getting ready for work I've, I've found ways around thank God to a few uh, tips and tools I found online so I'm not I'm not struggling to get to work anymore I, I, Six is back. sorry uh, so that's cool I, I'm I'm in less danger of losing my job, just I'm still in danger. Uh, I don't want to get into any, any other reasons, but 
that's that's kind of personal and Pretty, uh, if it involves someone else I, I don't want that other person brought into this because they didn't do nothing I don't want them I don't want them all over YouTube uh, that's that's my business with them you know what I'm saying so it's not fair to bring that person into this when they can't defend themselves so we're gonna leave that person out of this but as far as disabledness goes I'm still it's cool I found a way to get around it and get to work uh, where do I work at? I really can't tell you. Uh, I'll give you a few hints. I work for a a petroleum coke company, well, an energy company that takes coal and turns it into petroleum coke, and they ship it out to uh, whoever needs it. What the heck is petroleum coke? Think about it this way. Um, Okay, it's a bad analogy, but it's like a drug dealer cutting a bag of cocaine with something else to maximize his profits. Okay, it's kind of the same, but it's not. They, they take coal and they burn it down and they take the byproduct of that, which is coke, petroleum coke, not coke you snort up your nose or the cocaine I'm talking about with the drug, different kind of coke. It's a... Uh, it's a fossil fuel. It's it's a form of coal used to uh, heat blast furnaces and and stuff like that. Like if there are steam trains, they'd be that's what they'd be using. It burns hotter and longer than coal does, so it's more efficient and cheaper. So it's it's getting more for your money. You know, instead of buying coal to run your blast furnaces, you buy petroleum coal, and that's what they do here. They make that stuff for these people. Okay. Yeah, really interesting, huh? But um, hey, what do you expect from my channel? I'm a little, I'm a lowly security guard. I don't do anything interesting. I'm fat. I'm out of shape, and the only thing I can do is share my experiences with you. And unfortunately, my boring life uh, mainly consists of sitting in my truck, <laughs> 12 to 16 hours a day, sometimes up to 20, watching these boats. Can't go, we're not supposed to go over to 16 due to OSHA rules and work regulations, but sometimes it's unavoidable. You know, but, uh, for, the, for the majority, it's 16 hours or under. Does it get rough? Yeah, kind of. Well, what do you do if you got to go to the bathroom? It depends. Um, if you got to go number one, depending on what dock you're at, you can just go outside your truck. You got to be careful. And what that the other dog uh, they got a they got a portage on so we can just use that no problems. Uh, there's two docks where I work at one one is for the incoming shipment of coal, the other one is for the outgoing shipment of petroleum coke. Okay, when you're over in the coal field, I like that better because nine out of ten times you're in an isolated area where no one's going to come up on you. You don't have to worry about border patrol or customs for the most part. It's just quiet, you know. You sit here, and nobody, you ain't got to deal with nothing. But over in Area B, where they ship the stuff out, uh, that's usually Canadian vessels over there. So you're guaranteed a visit from Border Patrol and Customs. Um, just, there's a lot. There's a lot more people that are working over in that area because of the, the time of day and, and all these other different variables. But anyways. I'm blabbering on and on because I ain't got nothing else to do. I just wanted to jump on here to answer a question, but what vehicle I use, and I use my own personal vehicle, my own personal truck. Do I get reimbursed for it? Hell no. I'm supposed to. I thought at the beginning of the year to get at least an extra dollar fifteen hour per shift that we got to do do security detail on boats to pay for that, and they agreed to it, but we haven't seen a penny of that yet. And this was back back in um, boat season started back in uh, was it March? In, in February, beginning of March, somewhere under. <sighs> and we haven't seen any of that money. So putting all this wear and tear in your truck, it, it sucks. Second uh, truck. What do I, like you said, what do I got yeah, Let's go okay. back to the issue. What do I got to do if I got to use yeah, bathroom? Yeah. So number one, I can just go whiz up my tires, or if I'm at the other dock, use the outhouse. Same thing with number two if I'm at the Portage Yard, if I'm at the other dock. 
someone my size crapping in a porta john is not fun, but it's better than crapping your pants. Have I crapped my pants? I'm just going to plead the fifth on that. Um, the only way to avoid that is you call uh, our mobile unit and ask them to cover you for a minute, you know, for a few minutes so you can go to the bathroom. Uh, if you don't have a mobile unit, you can't leave the site at all. You, otherwise, you risk uh, getting a huge fine penalty from Homeland Security, Border Patrol, whatever. So you just got to find ways around that. Uh, plus, you're out in the open, you know what I'm saying? You just can't sit there and poop on a bucket. You got you to gotta, you gotta find cre ways of getting creative. Um, adult diapers, maybe? I don't know. But anyhow, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to talk about poop. Uh, you saw in one of my last videos, one of the things I like to do is to freeze Gatorade bottles, you know, and bring those, that way you got plenty to drink, and especially on hot days, that way you got your own uh, Gatorade Slurpee. Uh, I got a cooler in my truck, so I usually bring my lunch, just toss it in the cooler, because like I said, I cannot leave the site. Um, I don't even know why you guys are interested in what a security guard does. But anyhow, I'm, I've rambled on long enough. I just want to give a few updates, answer a question, and we'll go from there. Uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you for watching my videos. Why you watch them, I don't know. I'll never know. I'm just a fat, low-life security guard. I'm humbled uh, that, that you guys would actually take time out to watch me for whatever crazy reason you're doing it. Thanks. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you. You have a great day, and I will catch you later with my next video. Uh, peace.